Late last golf season, work began on a major renovation and redesign project at Elmwood Golf and Country Club. The project is in the hands of widely recognized golf architect Les Ferber. I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Les Ferber out in out in Kimberley when I when I worked at Trickle Creek for four years, and and um, when he offered uh, his services to redo the golf course I was I was ecstatic and very excited to take that to the board of directors and and when we got his uh, bid um, I was very excited because I, I've golfed many of his golf courses which are you know in the top hundred in Canada I've golfed them and I know what kind of a golf course he can he can give to the citizens of Swift Current and and to the province I'm uh, from Saskatchewan and uh, years ago I didn't really want to uh, stay in agriculture. My father wouldn't uh, buy land or another combine until the tractor was paid for, so I migrated and, and uh, we all went down to California, three of us, and we got onto a non union golf course construction project. and I really liked working with the dirt, and uh, so I uh, stayed on and I raked rocks with the Mexicans for a while, and then I drove equipment. And so I kind of learned the business from the ground up construction first, up through to design. The big thing for us is is getting the golf course to standards, uh, you know, seen around the province, and 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 being able to offer a great product to the members and to people visiting Swift Current. I think most of the members would know, and certainly people like Bob Pollock and different ones have been here a lot of years. Uh, thir Thirty years ago, we were here and we built uh, a couple of the greens here, uh, sixteen and uh, seven, I think, and uh, so. Yeah, way back then, I, I liked the property a lot, and it, it, it bothered me a little bit that there were some blind golf hole shots that they were keeping. So I was delighted this last time around when they said, "If we can make it better and uh, doesn't cost too much, let's let's get rid of those things." And so that's what we've done. So I'm pretty excited now that I get to do what I really would have wanted to do 30 years ago. Well, the, the major difference is, is we're going to have 18 properly designed greens, it's going to have proper drainage and, and all the stuff under under the grass that people don't see uh, that's going to be properly done in, in the 2000s and, and, and we haven't um, we haven't got the, just the dirt underneath the grass which some of the greens currently have out on the golf course. You have some major trees that we're always concerned about uh, not doing anything that impacts trees. Um, trees take forever to grow in Saskatchewan, I'm from here I know. And uh, so just to remove them, uh, you know, it takes 70 seconds to take a tree out and 70 years to grow anything significant. So uh, we try to work around that. We have the wind, but, you know, I look at the liabilities and the assets, and uh, the, I like the topography. I like being along the river. I like having the, that mature uh, poplar tree look down on the floor of the valley that separates the holes. And so it's a pretty unique unique setting in, in Saskatchewan. We, if we went anywhere else, we'd be in the middle of a wheat field. And it wouldn't be as exciting by far. <laughs>